Dr. Razali bin Haji Ibrahim, Deputy Minister in the Prime Minister's Office, Ambassadors, High Commissioners and Spouse, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. It's a great honor to welcome you all for the 98th Independence Day celebration of Afghanistan. My name is Leymah Kafman and I'll be your MC for the evening. I would like to invite the Chief Guest, the Honorable Dr. Razali bin Haji Ibrahim and His Excellency Ambassador of Islamic Republic of Afghanistan to Atikhalaut of Man to proceed to the podium for the toast. Auzu billahi minash shaitani rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And a very good evening. His Excellency Atikhalaut Atif Man, Ambassador of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan to Malaysia. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, may I invite you to join me in a prayer for the good health and well-being of His Excellency the President, the success and the prosperity of the government and the people of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, may I invite you to join me in praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the good health and well-being of His Majesty the Yang De Pertuan Agon, the success and prosperity of the government and people of Malaysia. <laughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
The Honorable Dr. Razali Minha Ibrahim, Deputy Minister in the Prime Minister's Office, Excellency Ambassadors, High Commissioners, Honorable Professors, Dear Representative of the Government and Private Sectors of Malaysia, my fellow Afghans, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It gives me enormous pleasure to welcome you all to the celebration of the 98th anniversary of Afghanistan Independence Day. We are honored by your presence and I hope you will enjoy being with us this evening. Before I explain the significance of this special occasion, I would like to pay tribute to each and every one of our brave men and women in the National Security and Defense Forces fighting to protect our country from national, regional, and global threats on a daily basis. Afghanistan, a country that has predominantly been independent throughout its history, had its foreign policy determined by the British Empire for a brief period of its history. 98 years ago, the reformist King Amanullah Khan restored Afghanistan's full sovereignty and declared it is independence from the British Empire. He began to introduce deep reforms meant to transform Afghanistan into a modern nation state. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, over the past 16 years, Afghanistan has endured countless sacrifices in order to move forward and grow as a new democracy. We have had many achievements throughout this time and each of these achievements has taken us further ahead in the journey. Today, Afghanistan is fighting to preserve and expand the historic gains that have been made over the past 16 years, some of these gains consist of. A new constitution, an elected parliament, freedom of press and speech, women's rights, and numerous achievements in the education, health, and economic sector. <coughs> Afghanistan now has the highest number of women serving in senior government positions, including four cabinet ministers, nine deputy ministers, four ambassadors, and a governor, among many others. Overall, 28% of Afghanistan legislative is composed of women. Looking at the education sector today, over 9.5 million children are attending school on a daily basis. with 3.5 million of them being girls. Figures unthinkable 16 years ago and impossible without the support of international community. Ladies and gentlemen, since we are talking about women's rights in Afghanistan, please allow me to introduce and acknowledge the presence of the Honorable Fatima Gilani, former president of the Afghan Red Crescent Society of Afghanistan, and a well-known well-educated and women's rights activists in Afghanistan. It is a great honor to have you tonight with us. <laughs> Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Afghanistan's unique geographical location makes it an important link between South and Central Asia. It is also brightly endowed with natural resources that could pay the way for its economic growth. The latest survey shows that the country holds up to three trillion US dollars in proven untapped mineral deposits, which could make it one of the richest mining regions in the world. Afghanistan desires to deepen its economic ties with all nations of the world, and specifically we weave Malaysia as a potential partner to realize our economic aspirations. In May 2017, Afghanistan Embassy in Kuala Lumpur, in collaboration with METI, Mathrate, Maida, and MCCM, and their counterpart in Afghanistan, organized the first Afghanistan Malaysia Business Forum. The forum provided the opportunity of building relations among the Afghan and Malaysian businessmen and investors, as well as raise awareness on Afghanistan's untapped potential natural resources and investment opportunities. During the forum on, an MOU was also signed to establish Malaysia-Afghanistan Business Council for strengthening the trade relations. 
Afghanistan is an export destination with massive opportunities in the sectors of palm oil, electronics, and chemical products, including optical and scientific equipment. The Afghan government greatly welcomes the participation of the Malaysian investors in Afghanistan's mining, agriculture, agro-processing, the development of info sector, and the information technology sectors, which are enjoying 100% ownership of the investments, including the long-term lease of land for up to 100 years. Afghanistan is also tied with Malaysia in the education sector. Malaysia is seen as an attractive destination for Afghan students due to its high standards of quality education. Currently, there are more than 700 Afghan students pursuing their studies both in public and private universities of Malaysia. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, along significant achievements have been made and much more is achievable. Today, security remains the biggest concern for Afghanistan. As you know, Afghan people for many years been the victim of terrorism. Different terrorist groups such as Taliban, the Haqqani Network, Al-Qaeda, ISIS, and other affiliated groups target innocent Afghan civilians on a daily basis. His Excellency Muhammad al President of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, in his latest interview said that there should be no distinction between good and bad terrorism. All of them are the same and they are enemies of the humanity. Since terrorism is a serious threat to the entire world, therefore we must stand together as humanity to eliminate them. And this, of course, is possible with a firm decision, clear policies, close cooperation of all countries. Honorable Minister, with your permission, I would like to say a few words in a beautiful language of Malay. I hope I manage it to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> Yang berhormat. Saya ni mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih. Wadif dif terhormat serda. Hadirin dan hadirat sekalian. Kerana sudi memeriahkan majlis ulang tahun kemerdekaan Afghanistan yang ke sembilan Kuala Lumpur. Saya juga berharap anda semua akan terhibur pada malam. Ini sekian terima kasih. Now few words to my fellow Afghans. Kerana waktu nawalu muhtaram memel mano, terpulang kerana pun orang yang kita asuh tuh lalu tak kira ras, terpulang ras lah. Aku di kerana Afghanistan terpulang waktu di bila kita tuh lalu dah tentu mimi kali ini pun mana sebab mubarak kita. The third party solar, a wedon Afghanistan, Wahid. Matarani Gram Kaj Mehmanan Aziz, when I'm going to get some Karani Hishamish, or a Kushan, I did Kufta, when I would ask to meet so Ruzi, I said, Dodd is the Claude Afghanistan, no Bahamish Matabik, Gufta, as for the one in Mehraban, but Afghanistan, as he sold us at Tosseri, is that was at Polandi, but I have a Shuman Makakat was a Rosil or Zoom in a man. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank our sponsors, Sarafia Natural Resources, Moment Isle Industry, and Artco for their generous support, which contributed to the success of this event. At the end, once again, I would like to express my sincere thanks to the Chief Guest Honorable Dr. Razali bin Haji Ibrahim, Deputy Minister in the Prime Minister's Office, respected spouse of Excellency, all of you Excellencies, a happy Independence Day to all of you, and thank you very much for attention. May I request the Excellency Ambassador to present the, the Honorable Dato Razali, the Afghan Souvenir. <laughs> Thank you. 
Everybody, come. <laughs> 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 you pronounce it very well. <laughs> 